Hey Max Impactors, today I got a really cool project for you. We're going to make some log, okay, tea light candle holders. And I have three different sizes, so I'm going to show you how to do three different sizes. And we're going to, uh, and then you can put, you know, one of these little tea lights in there. Um, these are electric ones, but you can also use, you know, regular ones. So the wood, you can use many different types of wood, but the wood I'm using for this project is uh, cedar so this is cedar I like the way the, the wood looks on the cedar and also the end grain has like different colorations that I think makes it really look cool so let's get started first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna measure and these are two inches high I have a four inch high and a six inch high now I already cut this log uh, uh, once to get me this small two inch or over here and I'm gonna do now the four and six inch also, before I use the wood, I always like to take my uh, uh, chop saw and cut the ends off to get them, you know, nice and flat. Because a lot of times, you know, you'll get a chainsaw cut and it'll be crooked. So, kind of straighten that out a little bit. So, I'm going to just measure here, find my four inches, mark it off. Okay, then we're going to go over here, and I just use my saw. Uh, one other detail I should mention is if you look at the size of this, okay, I'm doing about three inches across. So it's about three to three, three and a half inches. So my saw is small enough to get it under here. Okay, so I'm just going to measure it up. Try to get it as straight as you can. And cut it down. So I have these three different sizes now. Okay, here's the two inch, the four inch, and the bigger one. And now I got a saw, uh, uh, I got my drill, and I measured this, so the tea light and this are just about the same size, which is an inch and a half for this case. And I put these over here, I got them clamped down so they don't move, and then I find the very center. So if you look at the center here, I find the very center end grain right there, and that's where I'm going to start drilling. Now I got this one partially drilled out, and then you just take it here and start working it down. All right, every once in a while, I like to blow that out a little bit, and you can measure how far this is down. And then keep going until it's deep enough. Okay. So you just keep going until it's deep enough. This maybe I do just a little bit more on that one, and then it would be done. Okay, and then you do that with all your sizes, and well, well up, you're done. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.